Good morning. Welcome to Light the Bay Preschool Story Time. I am going to read you the book, How Did Dinosaurs Go to School? I know how all of you love dinosaurs, so I thought this would be a great book to read to you. Look how big this dinosaur is. Do you think he'd fit in a classroom? I don't know. Let's read. It's called How Did Dinosaurs Go to School? How do dinosaurs go to school? Do you think they walk? I don't know. How about, I don't know, do you think? What do, they, what do you think they ride in? Do they take a carpool or ride a bus? I don't know, look. Do you think they'd fit in a bus or a car? Or do you think that he might drag his long tail? Is he late for the bus? Does he stomp all four of his feet? Or does he make a big fuss? Ooh, I hear some more rhyming words. Fuss and bus. When he gets to the school, does he rough house and punch? I hope not. Does he make a quick grab for a classmate's packed lunch? Dinosaurs are usually hungry, he might do that. Does he race up the stairs right ahead of the bell? Wow, what a big dinosaur. He doesn't fit in a staircase very well, does he? Does he interrupt the entire class with his own show and tell? What, is, what did he bring here? Let me get a little closer so you can see. It looks like he brought his stuffed monkey. And you notice there's more than one dinosaur. Does a dinosaur yell really loud during class? Oh, I hope not. He pulled his tooth out. And when in the classroom, plunked down in his chair, does a dinosaur fidget move around his tail up in the air? I don't know. Does he growl? during chalk talks or roar out loud at a, out of his turn? I think he's probably trying to raise his hand. We raise our hand, right? Does he make it too hard for the others to learn? Oh no, he's making too much noise and all of his friends can't learn, it's too loud. Oh, does he stir up the classroom by making way too much noise? Everyone's laughing and the teacher's trying to read her book. What kind of ears do we have when we're reading? Listening. It's hard to listen when others are making noise. Oh, does he tease all the girls? Does he pick up on the, does he tease all the girls? Does he pick on the boys? Oh no. Look at how big he is. The dinosaur carefully raises his hand like this. He helps out his classmates with projects they've planned. He's being a good helper. He's helping her stack the blocks. He's tall, so he's lifting her up so she can put the very last block on the top. They're sharing the blocks. That's good. At recess, he plays with a number of his friends and growls at the bullies till bullying ends. Yeah, we don't like bullying. He ties, he tidies up his desk, then he leaps out the door. So he's cleaning up after himself. He made a mess and he's cleaning up. Good work, good work, little dinosaur. So he became a good student. He cleaned up, he was following directions, he raised his hand. What a great learning story. This is called how did dinosaurs go to school? You notice there's all kinds of different dinosaurs in this book. At the beginning, was he being a good student? I don't know, he wasn't sharing, he wasn't raising his hand, he took someone's lunch, and at the end of the story, he learned how to be a good student at school. He was helping, he was sharing, and he was stopping bullying. What a great story. So my challenge for today is I want all of my boys and girls to draw their favorite dinosaur that they saw in this book. There were several different kinds of dinosaurs, so I'm gonna turn the pages really quick so you can see, okay? This one's yellow and blue. 
I'll get the book a little closer. This one's a little smaller. Look at this big one. I think this might be a T-Rex. So I'm gonna go through them so you can see them. Look at this one, it almost looks like a rhino. He's got a big um, horn on his nose and his top of his head. And then look at this one. So think about these when you're drawing your pictures, okay? And then there's this one. Look at the pretty colors on this one. That would be a fun one to draw in color. I can't wait to get back to school with you and you bring in all your artwork you've been doing off of story time. Look at this one with all the horns. This one's my very favorite. He's polka dotted. That would be a really fun one to draw. So draw your pictures. I want you to use lots of colors. I want you guys to stay safe, take care. I love you and I hope to see you soon.